This evening, we have Dean McAdams as our guest this evening. He is a paralegal here in Los Angeles. Um, and one of the main topics he's going to talk about this evening is gender, gender identity and... Gender identity, you and the law. Yeah. Your gender identity and the law. Yeah, you know, and sort of uh, hopefully he can answer some questions about how one goes about legalizing a change in one's gender identity. And that this, possible. this is personally important to us because we both have transgendered friends, mm -hmm. you know, that are either transitioning or might want to transition one day. Or have transitioned but can't do it legally. Yeah. Haven't gotten to that step or don't know what needs to happen mm -hmm. in order to do that. Uh, because I'm not, I don't even know, and I should have looked up, but I'm not, I don't know if that gets covered when one goes through the whole transition process. Are you talking about just for California? Mm -hmm. Maybe Dean can help us. Yep. So, we'll have to see. So, so are we ready? Move around? All right. Yeah, you're going to move over there? Take Musical chairs. There. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hey, Emily. Emily. Yeah, thanks for having me. Dean is a Facebook find, so I la 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 love Facebook. Yeah, you do. Egypt loves Facebook, and I love Facebook. <laughs> Right, Facebook and, comes in handy. And we love the pants. The dog yeah. pants. The little dogs and pants, they're adorable. Yeah, dog parks are great places to meet people. And uh, it's actually how I found the guest house I'm renting right now. My dog park friend, Eva, met her there. Nice. And, uh, nice. Yeah, it's hard to find a nice place with a dog, for a dog, so anyway. And uh, I like the velvet jacket, too. Yeah, thanks. Like Thank you, yeah. Velvet. So I might have to get a dog if I want to have a life. Yeah, Is that really, what you're you should. Saying? You should. Yeah. <laughs> to meet people. Want to have a life and get laid, you know, get a dog. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, yeah. Is that works good. <laughs> <laughs> might as well. I don't have a kid. <laughs> Which a kid kind of hinders the whole getting laid thing. Sometimes. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dog, not so much. Okay. You're allowed to put the dog away in the cage for a little while. The dog can't be in my apartment, so I might have to rent a dog. <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe it's what not that far fetched. Is just walk a dog for a friend. Okay, yeah, because I actually I rent a kid. <laughs> See, you're right. Yeah, you should rent a dog. I can rent, rent a, a dog. dog. There was that commercial with like renting a puppy so that people could. That was, yeah, that was a these guy. This guy was a total cad, but he was like renting out puppies to other guys. Right to get dates. To get dates. So, yeah. yeah. If it works, if it works. Mm -hmm. We always get on these weird tangents. Yeah. So, you are a paralegal. That's right. What is that exactly? A paralegal is someone that does everything a lawyer does except give legal advice and represent you in a court of law. Okay. Um, I learned the whole thing by working for lawyers and insurance companies. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like an interesting segue here for me to go into like the whole gender thing. I, I worked in the film business for a long time and as a production assistant. It was kind of like you know, working my way up into production management and of course what I really wanted to do was write and direct I was writing spec screenplays and really trying to make that happen and it really wasn't happening for me so one day at the gym I was sitting in the sauna and I saw this LA Times ad for the UCLA paralegal program and I intuitively knew that was something for me that I should get into and so I got into that program I got the paralegal certificate I really loved the law and then when I hit the streets, I couldn't get a job because I didn't have any experience. And also, this was the late 80s, and I didn't really know a lot about computers. So I started going to agencies and find out what was really happening, what people were asking me to do for really big money for me at that time was legal secretary. And at first I kind of had this thing, well, yeah, you know, because I had always really kind of identified with being androgynous. My, I have really small bone structure. and. Um, once, when I was uh, 10 years old, my parents dressed me up as a girl for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ostensibly it was, was this Hawaiian girl, right? Because I was really, looking back on it, my parents were really straight people. <laughs> but they were very clever people. <laughs> and they thought, oh, it's funny, Dean can pass as a girl. And I, they dressed me up as a girl, and I can remember vividly being at, uh, from Sona Tahunga up here in the valley, it was this little carnival at the park every Halloween. And I'm standing there, and this smart-ass little kid walked up to me and said, what are you supposed to be? And I said, I'm a girl. 
And he goes, no, what are you supposed to be for Halloween? <laughs> I said, I'm a boy dressed up as a girl. And he looked, got right in my face and he said, no, you're not. You're a girl. And he spun around his heel and he took off. And that was like an epiphany of how easy it was to just put on some clothes. And I didn't, I had, I had fake eyelashes. And so it was a real eye opener for me that, you know, I, I, I could do this thing. So cut back to the, the paralegal thing. Now I'm 30 years old and I realize I got to make my way in the world. I have to have, get something going on. So the legal secretary thing, I just said, yeah, I'll do it. And it was actually one of the best moves I ever made. And I tell people this when they, when they, they come to me and say, Dean, my paralegal career isn't really happening. A lot of lawyers that really have it going on, they know the whole legal secretary thing. It's, it's like we were talking earlier, with Matthew, smart people survive. Smart people just do what you have to do. And so I began this career as a legal secretary and it was really great for me. People were asking me to work for them. I could kind of like just be me at the time. I was kind of, I like was a real partier and I, I, I drank a lot, did a lot of things. I could lose a job as a legal secretary and get another one the next day. It was really incredible. Yeah. It was it was really a good thing for me. I mean, you'd go into work at like eleven every day because you've been partying. No, no, I, I had to go in at, at the regular time, but I had this attitude. I, I played in punk bands, and like the whole punk DIY do-it-yourself ethic, yeah. it still serves me well to this day. Yeah, with everything I have to learn. Like you know, buying domain names now, finding out what you know. It's really important about your website. It's your domain name. It's not uh, it, the domain name is is, is key. It's crucial. Yeah. So I'm buying up domains. Up yeah, I'm buying up domains like paralegal legal document assistant dot com. I'm literally buying names like paralegal answer to complaint dot com, and that really that, that makes that's it what for somebody me. will type into Google and yeah. they get to you. And then I, I put up a quick and dirty um, GoDaddy free gives you a free uh, website tonight with those domain names and so it's it's really incredible smart people survive so I'm doing the legal secretary thing and I really have a, a paralegal certificate and so I'm making that happen until what really took off for my career was at Safeco Insurance Company I, I started as a temporary legal secretary then I became a paralegal and I really learned the whole paralegal thing at that point going in through legal secretary so the whole gender thing with me, I've always like kind of been in flux with that of just about how, how I relate. You know, I, mean, I really relate well to women, to uh, and, and to men, and because I don't really buy the whole gender belief system. You know, I'm just I, I make it work for me. Or you're in fine company because we're <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So, and then you start, we were talking earlier about gender assignment, and I, um, if I hadn't been really together, I would have brought my laptop, we could have gone online. If you go online to lasuperiorcourt.org, the forms, there are forms in there for change of gender, and all you really need is a physician's declaration, and you can change your gender. Well, now, what is the, the deal with needing a year of, of, a year, you need therapy plus a year of passing as... No, living as oh, your opposite gender. What, where, where does that come well, in? Well, now that's for surgery, I think. I'm pretty sure. So wait a minute. You can actually change your birth certificate without having surgery? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you just uh, a transvestite and just want to, you know, wear... 24-7. Because I, I do believe, because I know a lot of transgender people who have become transsexuals. Um, many of them don't get the surgery because it's very cost prohibitive. Mm -hmm. It's, there's a health risk, um, you know.